So uh, this policy is basically aimed at making the workplace environment more inclusive and supportive for women uh, to help them thrive in the best of their ability. So you may have a female who's very good at her job and because of menopause, that's not quite how she's being seen. Uh, if she's struggling with her day-to-day -day symptoms. So it's just about understanding uh, those symptoms, understanding what she might need uh, and just making any reasonable adjustments in the workplace environment that will help her through that. HRT, home replacement therapy, started way back in the 1960s. Obviously, it was a different kind of um, HRT, but women were taking it and they were seeing the effects. And then when they the, carried the out the benefits, the, the positive, the, the positive effects. But when they carried out the study, it led to widespread fear of having um, home replacement therapy. So it's been taboo. Women have been suffering in silence, and um, it's, it's it's you know I've seen it firsthand when they when they come to me and how how they feel, no, and how it affects them physically, mentally, and, and emotionally. I definitely think that um, speaking about the menopause. Um, should be very individualized. So all the patients, they have different needs, different problems, they have different symptoms, and they experience their menopause differently. Mm. And um, there is a lot, of, a lot of research and a lot of uh, evidence that um, healthy lifestyle, so ex regular exercise, good diet, um, is helping um, to improve the menopause symptoms. So for some women, at some stages of that transition period, that could be enough. Um, however, sometimes it might not be enough and then we have to uh, kind of step in with the pharmacological approach which is the HRT we were talking about. Diet and lifestyle are huge factors when it comes through your perimenopause and menopause journey so as much as we talked about HRT being beneficial um, we also need to sometimes change some of our habits. Um, the other thing I think that's a huge factor is stress for women through this period. Um, we've had this conversation with many people. So they may have just a very large life load, especially if they're working and if they're in the corporate world. So those stress factors also play a very big role in how our body um, is affected. Uh, and then the last big thing is exercise. So getting enough movement in our daily life. The reality is, is it does take some work and you need to add these habits in for long-term benefit.